Alright, so I told myself that I was going to do a review of the Taylor Stitch Long Haul Indigo Waffle Jacket while wearing it, and I said that when it was 50, which was yesterday, and now it's 82. So I don't know how that works or what's happening, but stop driving your cars because it's getting too hot for my jacket game. Anyways, what is up guys? My name is Mike. Thank you for checking out the channel. If you like what I do, toss me a subscribe. If you don't, leave some nasty comments like people did in my last video. Anyways, today I want to talk about the Taylor Stitch Long Haul Jacket and Indigo Waffle and the things I like, things I don't like, and uh, kind of give you a general feeling about what I think of this jacket. I'm not going to go too much into Taylor Swift. I might also say Taylor Swift in this video. I'm not sure. I found out about Taylor Stitch, I want to say, two years ago, and I love them. I think they're great. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. As you can see, I have five subscribers, so not a lot of people want to work with me yet, but I have some of their other stuff that I'll review later, and like I said, I really, really like them, and what I really like about them specifically is that they have, down to a science, constructed how I want to live my life, and they sell clothes that make me think I can do that, which is why I love Taylor Stitches, and which is why basically everyone does. It's kind of like when you watch a movie and you you see the action hero and you're like oh yeah I could probably do that too anyway so I was online and I was looking at their outerwear section and I saw this jacket which is actually still up right now I'm not sure if it's an essential jacket which means they'll keep restocking it or if it's a kind of a limited time offer thing like that I think that it's essential so I think it's gonna keep getting restocked I didn't know that when I bought that that's why you look at this and it looks like it's a little big on me but Actually, let's get into that right now. So the fit of this jacket is something that I don't know how to really say, and I can't pinpoint what it is about it that kind of doesn't fit with my body type, but there are a few different things. The first thing is that definitely 1 billion percent size down with this jacket. I saw that in the reviews by other people and they said size down, it's a big jacket. And my response to that was size down, it's a big jacket and I didn't do it. And basically I regret it. And at the time I bought this not knowing or really sure if this was going to get restocked or not. And there was only medium. So I would normally get a medium, but since people said size down, I should have gotten a small. But since there were none left and I really wanted this jacket because the pictures of it are gorgeous, I ended up getting the medium, got it, opened the package, put it on and I was like wow this is by far not a medium this is 100% a large it was my shoulders were kind of going out to here the sleeves are and were way too long at the time so I'll go over the things that I don't really like about this jacket first but there is a lot of stuff I do like about this jacket so definitely keep watching don't skip out and think that this is a sucky jacket first thing I don't like is that the sleeves on this jacket are way too long they cover almost my entire hand if I don't fold the cuff which is Insane. This is a medium sized jacket going all the way down to my knuckles and a little bit of my fingertips, which I've had a lot of medium jackets. I love jackets. I always collect jackets. I've never had one with sleeves this long. I mean, I have two shot motorcycle jackets and they go down to, I want to say a little above my knuckles, my palm area. And that's for a motorcycle jacket where the sleeves are supposed to be long. These sleeves are like spaghetti Steve sleeves. So unless you have extremely long arms, these sleeves are going to be big on you and you'll either have to get them shortened or you'll have to cuff them like I do on mine. I'm most likely going to get this jacket tailored just because I do really like it, but the sleeves are just on a different ball game of length for some reason. And it's one thing if that's just a me problem, maybe I have shorter arms than normal, but I see it almost on every picture of people that aren't the Taylor Stitch models wearing this jacket. And what I see in basically all these pictures is this exact cuff. You see the jacket cuff down to where the cuff ends basically because the sleeves, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, are too long. And that goes into another part of this jacket. This jacket is a long jacket and I think Taylor Stitch says that because this is clearly inspired by a trucker jacket and I'm not sure if Taylor Stitch is saying we want to appeal to more people so we'll extend the length of these garments so they fit a kind of a larger population kind of like what a lot of companies do with armholes they lower them more and more and more so they fit people easier but the byproduct of that is it doesn't look as tailored and as form-fitting so then you have to get it tailored although you can't really tailor armholes that well but yeah this jacket is really long so like I said I'm gonna get it tailored the one thing that I wish Taylor Stitch would do instead of just extending the length of their garments is offering a long model so you can have a 38 long or a 38 because I bet there's a lot of people that don't take pictures of their clothes and they're like oh this is finally a jacket that has long enough sleeves but second thing I don't really like about this jacket is the button holes not the buttons themselves I actually love the buttons I love that coppery orange color I think it goes really really well with the blue I'm actually getting a long haul jacket in denim just because I want that to be my denim jacket because 
I love these buttons so much. They're really a, the star of this jacket for me besides other things that I'll get into in a second. But the holes for the buttons are really, really loose. And I'm not sure if I got a bad batch or a bad jacket, but a lot of the times I can button this fine, but every once in a while, or really a little bit more than every once in a while, enough for me to notice and see it as a problem, the button will just slip out of the hole because the hole is this, there's a lot of jokes that I can make right now, I'm not gonna. But the hole is either too big or got loosened. It doesn't look like there's that like ravel around them that there usually is that keeps them tight. So, like I said, I don't know if I got a funky jacket, a defunct jacket or something like that, but for the most part, you can button it fine. Every once in a while, one will pop out. The sleeves have popped out a few times, and the worst is that this fastener on the side by my hip to kind of tighten it, always on the left side, that one will come undone every single day I wear this jacket. I keep walking and I always refasten it as I walk. And again, I read as many reviews as I can on this jacket, so I do know that is a documented problem. It's happened to other people too. Another thing to note is that the leather patch on the back of my jacket also didn't have that like finishing over it. It seemed like it was pretty raw, which I thought was normal until I saw a few other jackets with it. Don't really know. Something important to note too about my jacket specifically is that, like I said, I originally got this jacket and it was way too big. The shoulders were even out a little bit longer and everything was bigger, but I ended up putting it in a hot soak and then putting it in a dryer on hot and then I put it in a hot soak again, put it in the dryer on hot and it shrunk to like a pretty reasonable size. I am gonna get it tailored to get it slimmed, but definitely makes it look a lot better than it did before. Not sure if Taylor Stitch was intending that you wash it to shrink it like unsamphorized style stuff, but either way, you should probably size down because I wouldn't be sad if this thing was even a little smaller after the wash. Okay, my third and final complaint is kind of more of a me complaint. You may like it, you may not, but the thickness of this jacket actually isn't as thick as I was hoping or as I think the pictures led on, which I saw a lot of reviewers say the jacket looks more substantial in the pictures than it is in real life. And I don't want to say I felt like I was ripped off when I got the jacket, but let's just say I was definitely expecting a much more substantially thicker fabric of this jacket. Outside of the cuffs, collar, ribbing, sides, pockets and stuff, the actual body of this jacket is about as thin as a t-shirt folded in half. And what I mean by that is, if you take your t-shirt and pinch it, so you have two layers of the t-shirt, that's about as thick as the body of this jacket is. Which technically is fine. I mean, this is a spring fall jacket. It's in that weird range where if you run pretty hot, maybe you can wear this in the high 40s, low 40s without a layer, and by no layer I just mean a t-shirt, but I would probably toss on a sweater or something 50 degrees and lower. Now if this jacket was thicker, like the collar, pockets, whatever, if it was that thick all around through the body, this would be the best jacket of all time. I'm not joking when I say this would be my absolute favorite jacket. I would never take this jacket off. This thing would die with me. It would be such a unique jacket and feel so substantial. I'd always be super proud to wear it, but the thickness of this jacket is like uh, a jack shirt or something like that. Most people compliment my shirt when they see I'm wearing this jacket. They don't compliment this as a jacket. They say, I really like that shirt. Where'd you get it? Because it doesn't look like a jacket. It doesn't drape like a jacket. I wear it to work and inside of work and everyone really thinks it's a shirt. Of course, that would change the characteristics of this jacket because then it would probably be a little too hot for the intended season. So I can see why they went with this thinness, but if it was that thick, oh man, would I love it. But again, if it was double the thickness, you'd probably run into a jacket that's too hot for the tail end of spring and too hot for the beginning of fall, so it would even more limit when you can wear this jacket. Okay, cool, so all the bad stuff out of the way. On to the things I love about this jacket, and I really, really love this jacket. Don't get me wrong, I know the beginning of that was kind of harsh, but this is a gorgeous jacket, and the first thing that I need to start off with is the color. I absolutely love this jacket and its color. It's a trucker jacket, kind of, like I said, a little bit longer, it differentiates themselves. And what I found really from an aesthetic standpoint is that if you're trying to stand out, it's really easy to obviously get a denim jacket and rip it and paint it and patch it and just go crazy and basically scream, I want you to notice my jacket. But there's a different way to get your clothes noticed if that's why you want to get them a little different than just a denim jacket. And that's to kind of go the Taylor Stitch way, which is have a jacket and a bunch of different beautiful materials 
and this material really, really, I just think is great. It's dyed with indigo and it's a waffle pattern and Taylor Stitch gave it its first wash. I think it's a stone wash, I'm not sure, whatever type of wash it is. And since it's waffled, the top actually is a lot lighter and a lot like weftier, you know, like the white weft of jeans. It looks like that's at the top and on the bottom it's a very deep, deep, rich indigo. And the best thing I can think of is think of Sour Patch Kids the blue Sour Patch Kids, how the top where the sugar is, is white and below that is a very deep, deep blue. That's actually exactly what this jacket reminds me of and there's so many times where I'll just be sitting outside or I'm on the phone or I look down at the jacket and I'm just like, this is the best coloring and contrast I've ever seen on a jacket. What I also really love is the fact that it's dyed with indigo so it's gonna fade, I think it's called creaking, where it fades at the kind of high movement areas of your body so definitely you could see the lines, I, I don't know what they're called, I'm not that much of a denim head, but you can see all the lines forming from where I move my arms a lot and I'm really excited for that to start fading. And this jacket itself, if I wash it regularly, will get lighter and lighter over time and I'm really interested to see how the waffling fades over time and lightens up. So the look of the jacket there is definitely nailed. I also like some of the small details too, like if you look inside at the pockets, there is a California map which is basically the lining of your pockets. and. Taylor Stitch shows it, but you can fit an entire wine bottle inside of this. I don't know why you'd put a wine bottle inside of your jacket like that, but if you ever have the need to, go ahead. Although, also I said the jacket is thin, that does not mean it's poorly constructed. It's really well constructed, there are rivets at the points of high stress, so that way the cloth doesn't rip or the stitching doesn't rip there. And most of, if not all, the jacket is at least double stitched, so that's great. That's gonna last for a while. The back of the buttons have the TS logo and Another thing is that Taylor Stitch, I think it's a return or repair guarantee, so they'll repair this if something goes wrong with it, or if you just wear it long enough, they'll definitely repair it. I want to see a lot of cool fades if this rips, I want to get it repaired, I want to get some cool repair stitches done like that, you know, the whole nine yards of that. It keeps you warm when you need it, it's also really breathable, and on top of that, like I said, it is just a stunning jacket. I get so many compliments on this jacket. It's unreal. I didn't really expect to get that many. But all in all, would I recommend this jacket? Yes, definitely. I mean, it seems like I said a lot more bad than good, but that's because everything else this does is what you'd expect from a jacket. It looks great, feels great, and it is a great jacket that will also get better over time and look more and more like your jacket. So anyways, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you like it, toss me a like and a subscribe. That means the world, and uh, I'll see you on the next review.